Mobile Iron customers are also Microsoft customers. Almost all of our customers have Microsoft technology as well. There's a product within the Microsoft suite called Intune, uh, which has some overlap with what we do as Mobile Iron and some complementary capability. So let me now give you my summary of Mobile Iron and Microsoft Intune as enterprise mobility management products. We believe that Mobile Iron is a comprehensive government grade best of breed security platform to enable business transformation for our customers. We believe that Microsoft Intune is an immature, inconsistently adopted MDM product in terms of the focus of its use cases that really is focused on Microsoft specific use cases, many of them around Office 365. So let's dig into each of these in some detail. The key thing though that I can say is, you know, I'm here as a vendor representing Mobile Iron, and I want to tell you why Mobile Iron does great things. But in the end, this is your business, right, that's on the line here. And so what we always recommend to anyone who's evaluating Mobile Iron and Microsoft Intune is test the products head to head. Absolutely critical. Don't rely on PowerPoints. Test the products and ask Microsoft for references that are actually using Intune today. Not that have it, that have it in their Office 365 or broader license, but they're actually using the product. So let me go through what I believe are our key competitive advantages um, in the market. So first, Mobile Iron is government grade. We have the major government certifications for security. We focused on security from day one as core to our business proposition. Intune has no EMM security certifications, not FIPS 140-2, not Common Criteria, not FedRAMP. These are some of the core certifications. And why are certifications important is because they give you an objective third-party view on the depth and breadth of that product from a security perspective, both the software as well as the processes behind it. Second, Mobile Iron is focused on multi-OS security. This is our bread and butter. Right? People buy Mobile Iron because we're committed to all the different operating systems. Windows, the Microsoft operating system, of course, iOS and Mac, the Apple operating systems, and Android, Google's operating system, and all the flavors that are, are part and parcel of this. A good example of the challenges that Intune has here is that Intune has a conflict of interest. It took Intune over 600 extra days to support Android Enterprise from when it launched. Android Enterprise, which at the time was called Android for Work, was Google's new framework for security on Android. It launched in February 2015, and it wasn't until the end of 2016 that Microsoft actually launched support for it. So why is that? Why is that? Why did it take so long, especially given that Mobile Iron and many of the other leaders in the EMM category uh, had support of, on, on for Android uh, from, from day one? The third, Mobile Iron is focused on multi-app security. For us, Microsoft is one app provider, and there are many app providers, SAP, Oracle, Salesforce, there's hundreds, maybe thousands of application providers out there that our customers are want to use. And we are neutral, right? We are a best of breed player, and we believe that our customers should be able to choose best of breed applications. Intune is not neutral because Microsoft has a fundamental conflict of interest. Microsoft has a class of applications around Office 365 that are absolutely fantastic, but they're specific to Microsoft. And Microsoft also has conflicts of interest because it owns an operating system and it owns an identity service. So what happens here is that Intune will have capabilities like conditional access that will be very focused on Microsoft applications, but they will not be functional for applications like Salesforce unless the customers willing to change their IDP infrastructure to Microsoft. So for most of our customers, they already have a methodology that they use to manage identity and so forth, and they don't want to put in place new infrastructure. They want to be able to use the applications they want with the infrastructure they want and make sure it's secure. That's what Mobile Iron does. The next thing is Mobile Iron scales. We've always been focused on the large enterprise. We have a very broad, broad set of customers with massive deployments of Mobile Iron. Intune, we believe, has few large deployments. And this is, again, where references become really, really important. Ask Microsoft 
to have you talk to large actual deployments of Intune where devices are enrolled in Intune, 5, 10, 20, 30,000 devices. Ask them for references that are using Intune to actually secure Android, right? These are important things that, are, that we believe are important for our customers and potential customers to look at when they evaluate products head to head. Fifth, Mobile Iron has an ecosystem. We've always focused on this notion of best of breed, that there are many products out there that have to be integrated with a system like mobile and we have to be able to support. We can't have a conflict of interest. And every customer will use different applications on the front end. They might have different security methods on the back end. Intune has a very small set of technology integrations. As of March 2017, uh, based on the, uh, the Microsoft website, there's less than 20 technology integrations that Intune has, while MobileIron has more than 280. And that allows the customer to integrate MobileIron with a broader set of the infrastructure they have in place. And then finally, and this is really fundamental in understanding the mindset of these two products, MobileIron is focused on supporting your strategy. What's most important to us is your success in your business transformation. Intune supports Microsoft's lock-in strategy. And by the way, lock-in is not a negative word from a vendor's perspective, right? A vendor wants to always be selling you new technology and anything which drives you to buy new sets of their technology, the vendor views as being positive. So we have a very, very different view of the role of EMM than we believe Microsoft does. We believe the role of EMM is to provide you a security infrastructure that lets you choose best of breed applications, operating systems, devices, cloud, identity providers, right? That, we believe, is a very different model than Intune's, which is very targeted at the Microsoft stack. So let's take a look at then what Intune will be seeing. We believe that Microsoft sales tactics will be to, to go to folks who are considering these different options and say there's four advantages they will claim that Intune has. It's free. Uh, it secures Office 365. They'll make claims, which we believe are, are really not professional claims, about Mobile Iron's business. And then they'll say that Intune is going to get better next year. So let's look at each one of those. Intune is free, is what Microsoft will say. The truth is that free security is rarely good security. And weak security is extremely expensive. So when you're buying a security product, the key is to understand the risks that you're mitigating, the depth of that security product, the certifications that it has. Is price important? Price is always important. But the chances of something going wrong are really important to mitigate, and that's where mobile iron strength lies. Microsoft will also say no one else can secure Office 365. This is false because Microsoft has opened up with Microsoft Graph APIs to mobile iron and others the ability to set configuration controls that in the past were proprietary just to Intune. That's no longer the case as of 2017. Then Microsoft will make claims like Mobile Iron is going out of business. And I always view these as desperate claims. This is also very false. Mobile Iron is a successful, growing, financially sound company. And we are always happy to talk to any customer or any prospect uh, about our finances because it's something that we're very proud of. We've, we've really grown the company over the course of the last 10 years and established an exceptionally strong business, we believe. And then finally, Microsoft will say, trust us. Intune may not have the capabilities you need today, but it will get better next year. Now, mobile moves fast. While it's inevitable that Intune will improve year after year, remember, every single product is improving year after year, and security can't wait. So we believe that in this model of enterprise mobility management, choosing a best of breed security platform is absolutely essential to be able to power the business transformation of our customers. The other thing that's important is that Intune's role has been evolving. So even though Intune is a competitor to MobileIron on some of the capabilities I described earlier, there's also a new capability that Intune has as it evolves to what I think of as policy middleware available through Microsoft Graph APIs. So now what you'll be able to do over the course of the next um, uh, while uh, as, uh, as the technologies from both Microsoft and, uh, and Mobile Iron evolve is you'll be able to deploy applications to a device, secure those applications. You'll also be able to utilize the new APIs that Microsoft has launched through Microsoft Graph to be able to set control and controls through, uh, through Azure so that if there's Microsoft applications on the device, you can use Mobile Iron as a single pane of glass where Mobile Iron will call the configuration controls that sit within uh, Microsoft Intune on the back end so that those can be applied to, uh, to the devices. So the way that I think about Intune moving forward is that it's focused on the basic use cases of MDM, uh, but it also plays another very important role, which it will become, I believe, the policy middleware 
for Microsoft applications. And now that Microsoft is moving to an open framework with that, that allows Mobile Iron to be able to set those controls as well. So from a Mobile Iron perspective, there will be, uh, there will be some competitive elements to Intune, but more and more I see a complementary element because we'll be leveraging the policy middleware that Intune is providing. I hope that helps you uh, with an understanding of both how we look at Mobile Iron's position, how we see Microsoft's Intune position, and what we see some of the dynamics being both in the ways that Microsoft approaches customers and in the ways that the technologies are evolving. Thank you.